Hi everyone, it's Heidi with the Osborne Experience to talk to you about one of my favorite Osborne science books right now. This is 100 Things to Know About Science, and this is in a series of 100 Things to Know About, and we have space and we have food, but because I'm a science geek, this one is the one I like. It has a really durable, flexy binding, and it literally has 100 awesome things to know about science. Starting with number one, the universe is. It goes over cool snippets and facts and information and trivia about the universe. All life on Earth in terms of animals, plants, fungi, protista, prokaryotes. It talks about the composition of your body. It talks about household waste and um, percentages and statistics. Look at this. And it goes over things like facts about skyscrapers. This is a book when I was young, I would have taken to bed with me and just read and read and read um, without the atmosphere. The very first feathers weren't used for flying. How cool is that? If venom gets into your body, doing nothing can help you get better. What? Talks about anti-venoms. The moon doesn't shine, it reflects light from the sun. Acid in your stomach and it goes over pH. So this is introducing children to the science that they're gonna be learning in school throughout their education without them really knowing that they're learning about future science projects, future science classes. It's awesome. Streamline shapes. Um, and this is something that they learn about in biology and how different beaks help birds eat different types of nuts and seeds and whatnot. Uh, I know that our AP biology students do a project on it. Telescopes and fireworks. It talks about decibel levels. Gosh, think of how much smarter your kid is going to be after they read this book. It talks about scientists, Carlinius, apes and monkeys, cars can run on coconuts. What? So this isn't your normal science book. It talks about all the different fuels that a car can have from biodiesel to ethanol to air, electricity and hydrogen, things they may not get in a textbook. The Earth's surface. Almost two-thirds of all moths. There's a whole page on moths. Um, there's the Luna moth. We have Luna moths in our backyard, which is really cool. Extinctions, the Earth, tsunamis, Marie Curie and phosphorus, star burns and change over a lifetime that lasts for billions of years. Gosh, we have, what else? aliens, underwater plants, the largest living organism, the smallest living organism, oil, the poles, bridges, any kind of science you can think about, lightning and dung beetles, volcanic eruptions and an eruption in Indonesia, rockets, hibernation, Jupiter, octopus, Octopuses, octopi, octopuses, computers and bats, limestone caves, memory, noses, pure luck and butterflies, a Victorian scientist in a steam powered computer. Guys, random numbers and math. This book is $12.99 and it is just simply full of fun and interesting facts, knowledge, and trivia about every type of science you can think about. Again, an awesome, awesome gift that you can present with an experiment book, that you can present with a science kit monthly subscription, that you can present with a science kit or a microscope. This is the kind of gift that I would have loved to have gotten as a young student. 100 things to know about science. Again, we have space and we have food coming out this month. Awesome book that you can get at my website, theosbornexperience.com. You can find me hanging around and talking about science on The Osborne Experience.
what is my what is my site again? The Usborne Experience with Heidi on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks.